guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and we have arrived at Lemuria on Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Welcome back, guys. Last time, we defeated Poseidon and got through the Sea of Time. Whew, Lemuria is beautiful. Look at this place. It's like paradise. In any case, hey, dude. Do you wish to test your luck at the Spring of Lemuria? Spring of Lemuria? Uh, sure, I guess. Hmm, go ahead, test your luck. Oh, well, thank you. In any case... Uh, I remember this mini-game! Yeah, Virus, you remember... Yeah, yeah, this is like the Toby, um, the Toby Springs mini-game from the first game. Back in, back in the first game, and Toby used the lucky medals and stuff like that to throw them in the center. Um, and the thing, if you get it in the right spot, you can get some really sexy prizes. It works the same at the Lemurian Spring here in this game. Use the lucky medal. Dice roll! One! Ah. In any case, let, let's see what I get. Ooh, sexy! The Mighty Axe! Nice. In any case, you can also use money as well. Though, money is not the best option. Because you don't really get the prizes. So, yeah. All you get is just, well, more money. So, there you go. I'm gonna give this drag on um, this Mighty X to Pierce. Because, well, he needs more attack power. Um, the Lightning Blade. Um, okay, it is better for Felix. I'll give that to him. Yeah. Goodbye, Cloud Brand. It was nice using you, I guess. <laughs> Alright, now. Uh, I'm gonna use the rest of these Lucky Medals. And I'll show you guys what I get, um, afterwards. Just like in the first game. Be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. In any case, you can also get a summon tablet here. You can get Eclipse. Woohoo! Nice. To summon Eclipse, you need three Jupiter Degens and two Mercury Degens on standby mode. Now, viewers, you didn't, you couldn't get Degens like this in the first game, or not, or summons like this in the first game. New to go and Sun TLA. Yeah, Eclipse is one of the best summons in the game, and you can only get it here at the Lemoyan Spring. So I just wanted to show that off. Alright, back to Lucky Metal Digging. Be right back. Alright, viewers, I'm back. All screen. Oh, man, that took a little while just to get all the things I wanted. Besides that Eclipse Summon and that Mighty Blade, that or Mighty Axe that I showed off, I got a few more extra things. Now, I got the Hestia Blade. It unleashes Crucible Fire! Very, very good unleash skill. So, yeah, I managed to get one for Felix and one for Piers. So, there you go. Now, um, I got the Erebus Armor. It raises HP. The downside is that it reduces agility. So, yeah, with that being said, it's not worth hanging on to. So, I'm going to toss that. I got two Wild Coats. They both raise um, speed, a.k.a. agility. I got one for Felix, and I got one for Piers. The reason I equipped the Piers with one, obviously, because his agility was the worst of everyone else in the party. So, yeah, just like Garrett. So, <laughs> you remember when, when I gave Garrett that Elven shirt in, in the first game? He had that for the rest of the game. It was just that obscene for him. So, yeah, the Wild Coat is a good agility booster. And the reason I got well, gave one to Felix and not to, like, Jenna or Sheba is because with Pierce getting one, then Felix will be the only one having terrible agility. And I can't have that for our main tank. So, he does lose defense from it, but it's not a huge deal. Now, for Jenna, I got the um, Fireman's Pole. You can use that, um, use it in battle to resist elements or whatever. It's pretty decent. I, this is actually the first time I've ever gotten this. So I can't wait to try it out in battle. The crafted um, gloves boost attack, and it also boosts defense. So yeah, I got that for Jenna, and for Sheba, I got the crafted gloves and fireman's pole for her as well. Now for Piers, besides that wild coat, we got that mighty axe that unleashes heat shatter, but it is weaker, so I'm getting the fuck rid of it. Otherwise, the net, I also um. Oh yeah, I got the Minerva Helm, it raises PP. Um, I got the Aegis Shield, it raises Evasion. So, there you go. And of course, that other Hestia Blade. Got some pretty good shit. So, with that done, let's go and continue on... Exploring? Oh! Goodness! 
Oh yeah, I forgot Kraden was the one that wanted to come here the most. <laughs> Felix, look over here. This palace is magnificent. Yeah, let's go take a look at it. Might as well, cause parents or Kraden won't let you leave without checking it out. <laughs> hey, pop. Arf! No, no. <laughs> In any case, there is something over here though. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's set, scoop the quick. There you go. Scoop it up. Okay, not here. Let's try... Hmm. Excuse me. There you go. Scoop! There you go! We get a bone! Oh. What does that bone do? Okay, so it was just there? Okay, then. Oh, this place is remarkable. Truly remarkable. Huh? Who goes there? I've not seen you in Lemuria before. Uh-oh. Wait a moment. Hmm, uh... Uh... Hey, dude. You must be the travelers who arrived with Piers. Your name is Felix, perchance? Yeah? Piers? You mean Piers the Lost One? Hmm. A have I earned a title in my absence? Well, worry not. Piers is lost no more. Yeah, I've been found. I see counsel with King Hydros. Has His Highness been told of my return? Hmm. Word, of, word was sent, but I do not know if it has reached the king. Huh? What do you mean? Lord Conservido is meeting with His Highness as we speak. Conservido? Not Conservito. What's wrong, Piers? You don't look too pleased to hear that name. Creighton, what do you think of what you've seen of Lemuria? Uh, hmm. We haven't fully explored it yet. Well, from what I see so far, the castle's nice. Hmm. A little drab, though. It is a magnificent city, or do you mean the castle? Both are magnificent. And you, Felix, do you agree? Yeah, this must be like paradise for your people. Holy shit. Hmm. Any newcomer to our town would doubtless feel the same at first. In ages past, Lemuria was far lovelier, more grand, and a more lively city. His Highness the King tells of days gone by, of a more brilliant Lemuria long before my birth. Over the countless years, our people have lost vigor, enthusiasm, creativity. Lemuria has fallen to slow collapse, a city that has lost its spark. Lemuria, as you can see, is only a shadow of the City of Legend. A shadow? If only I had the chance to see the city in all of its splendor. But how does Conservito figure in? King Hydros believes that our decay is related in some way to alchemy. Huh? Alchemy? King Hydros wants to find a way to stop the ruin of Lemuria. If there were anything we could do to help stop it, we would. But the Senators are unwilling to take action. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I bet. They remind me of Senators in, in my world. They're stubborn and they fear any change. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll stop. <laughs> Don't want to get into a political war in here. Senate? What is a Senate? Nani? You don't know what a Senate is? Damn, Creighton. The Senate is the group of elders who decide policy in Lemuria. Which is basically what a Senate does. Lord Conservator holds the highest office in the Senate. Oh, so he's the majority leader. Good to know. The Senate usually opposes any new ideas or proposals introduced before it. Wow. Why am I not shocked at this? Word of our arrival will never reach the king as long as Conservito has his ear. And, it, and his conversations with the king are incredibly long. Oh, damn. I feel bad for the king. <laughs> we have no choice but to wait patiently here. Why don't we spend our time looking around Lemuria till then? Sounds like a plan to me. Alright, before we leave, though... Yoink! Is there nothing here? Let's try again. Nah, I guess there's nothing here. Oh, well, fuck it. But yeah, um... This castle is really nice. I, I do like it. Um, was there anything over here? Scoop that baby! 
I know there's something over here. I'm not. I, I'm not going crazy. Yes, there it is. Stardust. Yeah, we can forge that back at Yayam later. Yayam. Oh, I just love saying that. Do you not want the bone? I, I guess not. Maybe he's allergic to bones. Oh well, I feel bad for him then. <laughs> in any case, nah, I guess not all butterflies lead to good fortune. How old am I again? I quit counting after I turned 200, and that was long ago. 200? You know what, never mind. I guess I shouldn't question it. This is Lemoya after all. Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Excuse me, KFC. Otherwise than that, though, yeah, that's my nickname for chickens, KFC. In any case, we get some, we get the rusty sword there. We can craft that up later. For now, oh shit, I forgot to um set my DJs back after that boss fight. Yeah, let me set them back real quick, like. I gotta get the gross synergy. All right, switch and grow. There you go. Thank you. All right, we got that. Moo! Do you need a red handkerchief? No, no, no. That was another cow. All right. I missed the cow. Cyclone! There you go. We get a heart nut. It's a heart nut life for you or on your face. <laughs> Otherwise than that, though, um, let's give that to... Sheba's defense is higher now. Damn. Good on me. <laughs> um, who needs it more? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, Jenna. There you go. Yeah, I, c I couldn't decide. They both had the same defense. <laughs> oh, well. In any case, was there something over here? Let's try over here. Forward. No. Oh, well. Too bad. Too bad. So sad, I guess. All right, we got the rusty sword. Was there anything over here? Hmm. Oh, wait, no, wait. That's where we got the rusty sword. I'm so dumb. In any case, um, we, we can use Lash on that thing up there, but let's not do that just yet. And before I forget again, let me switch my um, DJs back. There we go. Perfect. All right, with that done, let's go and check out some more of Lemuria. Hmm. Hey, dude. Are you travelers that came here with peers? Uh, yeah, we are. Hmm, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to visit you, Uncle. Uncle? Pierce, you're alive! Yes, I managed to survive against a great many trials. What a fascinating coincidence. We stumbled across Pierce's uncle's house. Cool. <laughs> I must thank you all for looking after my nephew. <laughs> He's been looking after us! This is Felix and Creighton. They're my friends and have aided me tremendously. Hmm. If my sister could only hear how timid young Pierce has become a mighty warrior. Huh? What? Where is my mother? We've been we, we've been so busy ever since we arrived that I haven't had the chance to see her. Hmm. This place is a wreck. What happened here? Pierce? Now that I think about it, this place is a mess. What happened? Mother was always so neat. Huh. No, she hasn't fallen ill again, has she? There is still illness in Lemuria? My mother was born with a weak heart. Oh, damn. Pierce, I'm sorry. Your return comes too late, I'm afraid. His mother's dead? After the tidal wave washed you to see, your mother suddenly fell ill. <gasps> oh, the shock of losing you was too great for her poor heart. Did she die of a broken heart? Oh my god, that's so awful! Wow. She held out hope for your safe return until the very end. Perhaps your mother gave herself up to ensure your survival. Does that not sound like her? Where is she now? She rests in the cemetery now. Check the headstones. You'll find her. Pierce! 
What should we do, Mike? Should we follow Pierce? I feel bad for him. Let's leave Pierce to mourn for now. Let's leave him alone. You're right. Pierce probably needs some time alone right now. Yeah. Let's give the man some space. In any case... Wait. Huh? I asked you to leave Pierce to his mourning for now. Sure. I was going to do that anyway. Now he's, now he's struggling with the loss of his mother. He needs time. Hmm. You came to Lemuria to learn more of alchemy, did you not? Uh, yeah, we did. Why? I suspected as much. Pierce was right to bring you here. Pierce told me his secret. The mission he was given by His Highness the King. Even though the tidal wave... Or even if had the tidal wave not carried Pierce off, he would have left us. Such was his fate. Huh. You look confused. Pierce told you about this, didn't he? No. Curious. I can't understand why he would do that. If Lord Conservator had not led the Senate to oppose him, he would have left much sooner. I wonder what news Pierce has brought with him. Either way, I know I do know why he has brought you here. Mike, don't tell me he hasn't told you that much. I think he told me along the lines of wanting me to know about alchemy, at least. You say he's told you, but you look rather confused. Unfortunately, I know little more than that. While Pierce confronts his sorrow over the loss of his mother, you have some time. I shall write you a letter so that you can see Lumpa. Lump, Lumpa? The noble thief Lumpa? But he's dead. Th that can't be. Are you talking about? No, 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 no. That was like hundreds of years ago. Or could he be living here? Lumpa has locked himself in his tower and rarely comes out. But if I send him this, he will see you. Unfucking believable We heard about Lumpa back in the first game. You know his son, um, um, Dumpa? Yeah, and his evil-ass grandson, Dundumpa? Yeah, you viewers remember those guys, right? Wow. All I need is a bird to carry it to his tower. Fly off, little friend. Carrier pigeons. Nice. There, you should be able to see him now. Uh, thanks. I cannot believe Glumpa the Noble Thief is still alive. How the hell is that possible? Well, I, I guess we'll find out, huh? I wonder how Piers is doing. Let's go check on him real quick before we see Lumpa. Kitty cat, ma'am. Hmm. Piers? Oh, man, that's awful. Let's mind read Piers and see how he's doing. Mother, why have you left me? Oh man, I, f I feel so sorry for him. Sorry, Piers. In any case, while Piers goes about his mourning and stuff like that, let's go visit Lumpa. I'm curious to see what this man looks like. It's been like years. Like, literally years. Since... I, I, I don't understand how this man can still be alive. But then again, seeing as Bobby... That might be possible. Are you kids tr Pierce's traveling companions? Huh? He is alive! Look at that character portrait! He doesn't even look old! The door is broken, I'm afraid. But I opened the window just above the door. Sorry about this, but you'll have to climb through there. Wow. Can't you get people to repair your door for you? Huh. Judging by how old he must be, I'm surprised he ain't fixed it at this point. Or maybe there was no need. Hmm. How's it going? Honestly, I'm amazed anyone can travel so far across the world in this age. Huh? Say, Pierce isn't with you. Uh, why not? His mother passed away. He's going to visit her grave. Of course, his mother. He loved her dearly. A terrible loss. It must have been hard on him. Sir, how are you still alive? Well, you know what, that's safe for later. Well, Pierce may not be here, but we still have much to discuss. 
Yeah, get ready for yours, because we got a lot of massive plot dump ahead. If Pierce brought you, you must be working to break the seal on alchemy, right? Yeah. Ah, Pierce has done quite well in finding you. What mission could the g good King Hydros have assigned to Pierce? Pierce has told you nothing of his mission? Huh, really? Really, really? So you actually have nothing at all to do with alchemy? Uh, our parents were kidnapped by the Fire Clan far to the north. We're only firing the lighthouse beacons to gain their freedom. Pretty much. Uh, saving the world, I guess, comes as a secondary thing, I guess. King Hydro told me that Venus, light, Venus and Mercury lighthouses have been ignited again. Was that your doing? Yes, it was. I'm, I'm afraid I know nothing of any Northern Fire Clan. But that doesn't explain you, sir. You clearly are not related to these two. What are your goals? Uh, Creighton joined us on, be on this quest on behalf of Lord Bobby of Toby. Bobby? I know only one man named Bobby, but he it cannot... Master Lumpa, the Bobby we speak of is the same man you knew long ago. Ha, huh, so he's still alive live out there in the, in the world. Hmm. Uh, well that might not be the most accurate way of putting it. Huh? Most accurate? Ma, you certainly have an odd way of turning a phrase. <laughs> he was living, yes, until recently that is. So Bobby passed away? Only recently, you say? When he finally ran out of his mystic droughts, his spirit began to wane. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Then I no longer know anyone in the outside world. That's not true. Aren't you Lumpa the Righteous Thief? I was called that once long, long ago. Why do you ask? I bet there's at least one person in the outside world whom you still know. Don't you know about your son? There's a town called Lumpa in northern Angoria. A man named Dumpa lives there. I settled that village. And Dumpa, he is my son. Y did you forget about him? How long have you been living here? Now your grandson, Dun Dumpa, rules over your village. Rules? Rules is an ill-sounding word. But it's an accurate one, Lumpa. Dundumpa is an evil thief. He has caused much trouble in Angoria. I'm surprised Jenna and them already knew about Dundumpa. I, I, I wouldn't have thought they, would have they wouldn't have even visited Lumpa at all. Huh. What has become of my son? How, how could he permit such a thing to happen? Master Lumpa, don't you know how, how old he is now? He is as old as I am. An old man. Maybe even older than I am. If this news outrages you, why don't you go set him straight? If only I could. Is this the only reason we are here to bring news to the outside world? No. Yes, yes, I'm sorry we were sidetracked, but we have much to discuss. But before we begin, there is one thing I must say. You don't, you, you don't mind, do you, Felix? Uh, no, go ahead. I knew you'd agree. Hmm. I've discussed this with none but Felix, but I have my own reasons for this quest. Oh, yeah, you did tell us about that. Only, only that I have my own reasons for wanting to see the beacons lit again. Oh, yeah, he was talking to that. Uh, he was talking with Alex about that at the beginning of the game. Why are you telling us all this now? Because I feel this quest is deeply linked to Lemuria. I thought it odd that Lord Bobby should order me to research alchemy. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Is this what you promised to tell us when we got here? Yep. May I continue? Uh, go ahead. Long ago, before alchemy's power was sealed, there were many civilizations as advanced and cultivated as Lemuria. At the moment that alchemy was sealed away, most of these civilizations began to wane, until eventually they vanished. I have formed certain theories now suggesting that this may be related to the seal on alchemy. Hmm. Let me get this straight. You felt that you couldn't tell us this until we got here? And you only wanted to come to Lemuria to test your theories to see if they were true? Hmm. 
And even if everything you said is true, what does that all mean? If your theories are correct, the world itself will wane and vanish, won't it, Craden? What? Piers never spoke of this to you, did he? No. I didn't know the world was in immediate danger. If you come to this theory, then on your own, you are indeed a wise scholar. We would do well to trust you. What do you mean? King Hydros and I, as well as others in Lemuria, hold the same beliefs that you do, Craden. You do? Really, really? Civilizations thrive by building upon the knowledge of the past. Knowledge gained in one generation should be taken even further by the next. Thus, knowledge and learning continue to grow. This is the natural course of civilization. Hmm. But where is the world today? The great civilizations of old have all withered and vanished. We are all isolated and alone. You have encountered many cultures in your travels. Are any of them capable of building the great sanctums and lighthouses you have seen? I don't think so. <laughs> no, they are not, but this is not the only sign of the decay you have theorized. I think it's best for you to hear the rest from the king himself. Yes, Crane, we shall all go visit the king. Ah, but King Hydros is in concert with Lord Conservido. He might not let us in. Conservido? That fool. He refuses to acknowledge what he sees with his own eyes. Uh, I will meet with the king and press our evidence upon Conservido. Come with me. Ah! Uh, stupid door! Oh yeah! Damn! At last, you're open. God damn! To the king's chambers! Lumpa ought to be as old as Lord Bobby was, but he still has so much energy. <laughs> Good on that old man. He's got fire in him. I do wish that he could have told me more about Lord Bobby, though. But come, Felix. To the King's Palace we go. Right. Lumpa must be like over 150 plus years old. He kicked the fucking door down. Like, holy shit. Go, old man. Otherwise, than that, though, now we can actually come in here and visit the King. I love this palace. If you see the consul of his highness the king, follow the passage to the doors at the end. Uh, thanks. Thanks for that. Before we go and visit the king, however, there is some items that we can collect. I think. You are Lord Felix, correct? No. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll get it later. We got a lot to do. It would seem the warriors you spoke of have arrived. That we have. So it would, your highness. I shall call to them immediately. Nah, there's no need, Lumpa. Let us go to them. Hydros, would you see me dishonored thus? They ought to present themselves to us. And who are you so high and mighty that you can't come to us? I do not go to present myself to them, Conservator. I'm merely going to see where they are. I have something that I wish to show everyone. Regardless of your reason, sire, I will not go to them. Do as you will. However, we shall go. Huh. Yeah. We just met Conservido, and already I don't like him. I heard of your arrival. It is quite remarkable that you were able to reach Lemuria. Welcome. You definitely have the beard of an old, of a, like a, of a, like a Atlantis kind of king. Lemuria is based on Atlantis, right? I would think. I mean, Poseidon is here. Allow me to introduce my companions. This is Sheba. Jenna. Felix. Mike. And Craden. Nice to meet you. Craden is the one who told me of the outside world's civilizations, of their condition. <sighs> ah, Craden. Lumpa describes you as a remarkable scholar. Your research impressed us. Thank you, Your Highness. Your theories are correct. Our world is now on a path to destruction. And who decided this? You Hydros? Some civilizations have vanished, surely. But this is the way of the outside world. Look around you. Lemuria remains unchanged. Don't delude yourself. Lemuria has been in slow decline for ages now, but that can wait. My most trusted scholars have reached this conclusion after extensive research. I sent peers to confirm this for me. So you admit it, Hydros! You violated the directive of the Senate! 
You used the tidal wave as your chance to send peers away, despite our commands. <sighs> You're incorrect. The tidal wave carried me alone by chance. Caserito, you must know the tidal wave was caused by Poseidon's return. I am sh well, he is the god of the sea, but if Poseidon could do all that shit, I'm sh kind of shocked that we defeated him so well, not easily, but only a fool would have chosen to send a man to see if he knew that was going to happen. What was it that you intended Pierce to confirm? This. What the fuck is that, a fetus? No. This <laughs> this map shows the ancient world, when Lemuria still traded with people on the many continents. It was a great age, a time when the world shined brightly. And now this. And this is the map Lumpa had with him when he arrived in L Lemuria 150 years ago. 150? Damn. I use this map to sail around the world. It is quite accurate. It seems accurate to me. But something still seems off. Incredible. You understand, Kraden. What do you understand? Well, unless my eyes deceive me, the continents have shrunk since the Golden Age. That's insane! It is not insane, it is true. Perhaps this will make the point more clearly. Look at these two maps side by side. There's no mistaking it. The continents on Lumpa's map are clearly smaller. Lies! Nothing but lies! And look how easily he came to us now. What do you hope to gain from fostering these lies upon our people? You know well that I hope to gain nothing more than the truth, Conservido. And do you expect me to believe such nonsense when you shut that thing off? Thank you! If you do not believe the evidence before your eyes, what do you believe? Do you believe the Lemoyne map to be accurate to this day? Tell me, Pierce, you were able to investigate this matter, were you not? Thanks to Felix and my companions, I was able to travel much of the Eastern Sea. And what did you find? I found, in truth, L Lumpa's map is the more accurate of the two. However, the world seems even smaller now than it appears on Lumpa's map. Wha Whoa. What are you saying? Time itself has stopped. Think of Wayard as a living, breathing being, possessing its own life force. The four elements of the nourishment needed to sustain this being. Kraden, this is exactly what King Hydros himself has said to me. Ever since alchemy was sealed away, the world has been cut off from its nourishment. So you're saying, as long as alchemy is sealed away because of these lighthouses, that the world will shrink to nothing? It's gone into a state of akin to hibernation. By using lo less energy, Wayar prolongs its life. Yet... When hibernating, the being has only stopped its own clock, not the flow of time around it. When the bear sleeps through the winter, it, it needs only wait for winter to come. When it awakes, it can nourish its weakened body again. But if spring never comes, the bear will eventually die. Wayard is wasting away, its continents are shrinking because its spring has never come. Hydros, how can you make such outrageous claims? The world is not alive. The world is alive, dumbass! If the world was not alive, you would not be standing here! Idiots! Tell me, Conservator, why do you think Poseidon has returned? Do you have the answer, Hydros? The elemental lighthouses. Huh? Felix and his companions have already lit both Mercury and Venus lighthouse. What? Have you any idea what you set loose upon the world? Um, yeah, I do. But we had no choice! Our parents are in fucking danger! You know that it could bring about the destruction of the world, and yet you did it anyway? Like I said, we had no choice! If we don't like the lighthouses, then our parents and our friend's father are going to die! Maybe. My lord, you cannot possibly intend to have these people like the remaining beacons. I do indeed, Conservado, and I also fear the possibility that alchemy will destroy the world. But I cannot stand by knowing as I do that the world will wither and die if we do not act. Uh, 
This is madness, Hyjos. Do the, does the threat of alchemy mean so little to you? Would you put the world in even greater danger to satisfy your theories? With only two of the beacons split, I assume you intend to see, send Piers out again. And I will go, Lord Conservator. Felix has need of my power. Then go, Piers. But if you do, say farewell, for you will never be able to return. You will be banished from Lemuria forever. Whoa! You know our laws. Are you prepared for the outcome? I myself am disgusted by the whole matter. I take my leave of you, Hydros. What an asshole! But I warn you, I will not permit you to go through with this madness. And how the hell are you going to stop me, old man? You got four powerful adepts standing right in front of you. What are you going to do, hit me with your cane? I can shove a fucking lightning bolt up your ass! Yeah, leave. Dick. What will you do, your highness? I knew this outcome was inevitable. But I could not sit silent while our path world drifted down the path to its own destruction. I want you to light the remaining beacons before you return. Okay, so basically... Okay, so now we have our new task here. Besides rescuing our parents, which we begin this quest, well... Of course, this wasn't the start. I mean, you know, Jenna got kidnapped by some Charles minority. But Felix already knew that his parents were going to be in danger and Isaac's father were going to be in danger if he did not cooperate with Saturos and Minority. So as such, Felix was forced to come on this quest for the sake of his parents. Jenna and Craden were just dragged along in, into this against their will and against Felix's wishes. So basically, now Felix must have told Jenna about um, their parents and Isaac's father's plight when Jenna had to, um, was forced to come with them. So basically, at this point, that's why Jenna already knew what was going on at the start of the of the game. But we did not know that not lighting the lighthouses, like if we don't light the lighthouses, then Way Art will be destroyed. Basically, so basically, what the wise one and all of them said in the first game, oh, alchemy would destroy the world. That could be a possibility. But if the lighthouses do not get lit, then we're all going to die anyway. So basically, as long as the lighthouses remain unlit, we are basically steadily drifting toward death. So that way, we must, we must light the lighthouses. Viewers, have you not wondered why back in the first game, when Mercury Lighthouse was lit, we got, well, we were hearing that, oh, we can't light the lighthouses, and Mia was all freaking out and shit. Turns out, when Mercury Lighthouse was lit, I, well, before that, Ima was going through a, a pandemic. Mercury Lighthouse was lit. The pandemic ended because the lighthouse made that water of Hermes, remember? And that water was so amazingly helpful that it helped restore Trent and Kalamia. So basically, lighting the lighthouses is beneficial for the world. It's needed to save it. And we were taught in the first game that lighting them was bad. But really, in this game, now we know that lighting them is a good thing. Do you get it? I do. That's what we intend to do, but we cannot leave the Eastern Sea. I already heard of the problem from Piers. In any case... Huh? What's this? This is something I found by accident in some ruins back in my days as a thief. Huh. I'm not sure what it is, but it does contain some powerful synergy. Certain to... You are not certain? It is a synergy that we Lemurians are unable to use. I understand you travel with many different kind of adepts, do you not, Felix? Yeah. If we include peers in our numbers, we have one adept for each of the four elements. Hmm. Then at least one of you should be able to use the synergy that this contains. King Hydros believes the item that can only this can only be wielded by synergy of the earth. So it says Felix will probably be the only one to wield it then. If I'm not mistaken, there's a powerful synergy that we call grind. Grind? If you master this synergy, the breeze that blocked your way shall no longer pose a threat or a trouble to you anymore. With Grind, you should be able to create a path by which you can sail to, into the Western Sea. Awesome! So that way we can get to Jupiter Lighthouse! Finally! Alright! Got our new mission. Go, brave adepts. By your hands, may the remaining lighthouses burn bright once more. You got it, your majesty. 
That strategy is quite powerful, can only be trusted to a very few people. That His Highness has given it to you should illustrate how great his expectations are. I have no doubt that your journey will be fraught with ever-increasing danger, but we're counting on you, Felix. You got it. Alright, let's go! And with that, we get... The Grindstone! Which teaches the Grind Synergy, of course. Get that to uh, Felix. Basically, Grind will be needed to in order to progress through the Western Sea. There is a giant as we, we saw those rocks appear when, when we defeated Poseidon in the Sea of Time in the last episode, remember? There's another one like this back at the Galawan Cliffs. I think you guys might have saw it, saw it when we were there last, but I didn't mention it because there was no need to. Otherwise than that, though, before we leave, uh, there is an item that we can get before we leave the castle. Um. Oh. <laughs> Um, it should be around here somewhere. I think. What is this person doing on the roof? For that matter, what am I doing on the roof? <laughs> no, no, no. In any case, where is it? I, oh, you know what? It must be... Okay, never mind. Yeah, it must be over here somewhere then. Like in another, uh, another spot. Hmm. If you and Lumpa were all to leave Lemuria, I think we'd have peace and quiet here again. What has Lumpa done that you don't want him here for? Huh. I, I don't know. <laughs> huh. I thought it was over here, but for some odd reason I can't find it. Hmm. One sec, viewers. Alright, viewers, I found it! Woohoo! Lucky Metal Get! Yeah, I don't know how the hell I missed that, but... Yeah, it's in it's in this room um, down here on the base level. So there you go. All right, we got the lucky metal. Before we leave, however, I do want to make use of the Lemurian Spring again. And whenever you get more lucky metals, you can come back here. Even though that bastard Conservido said he was going to ban peers and shit, he really can't ban peers. You can still come back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this lucky metal and see what I get. I'll be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. Now, I got the item, I got something new that I never got from the, um, the Lemurian Spring before. I got the, uh, I got Lita's Bracelet. It raises wind power. I think you can, I think it's, I, I don't know if it does or not, but it might stack with the Clarity Circlet if you still have it. If it does, then that means double power for Sheba's wind synergy. Holy hell. Before we leave, though, I want to see how Pierce's uncle is doing. Go oh. I guess he doesn't say anything new. <laughs> okay, well, never mind then. Alright, I guess we're done here. But like I said, you can come back here to um, play play the Lemurian Spring minigame. So you can, um, whenever you get Lucky Medals, you can come back here. Though I recommend that you stock up on as many Lucky Medals as you can as we proceed from this point on, from the rest of the game. And then come back here and use them all so you don't have to keep coming back here every time you get a lucky medal that would be kind of tedious because this area is so far away from where we're about to go so it would be for your benefit of course otherwise than that though don't forget to get that mist potion that's inside Piers' ship this is practically the only real time outside of a couple outside of another place later that you'll be able to get it so there you go all right we're off in any case, Piers? Yes, she, but what is it? There's something I've been meaning to ask you, something I have to ask you. Ask me, Sheba. You and I look roughly the same age, but how old are you really? Uh, is that your question, Sheba? It's not important. It is to me. If you're much older than us, then I'm afraid we haven't shown you the proper respect. She's got a point. Don't worry about such things. Please treat me as you all have all along. No, that won't do. You have to tell us. What? Come on now. This is silly. Yeah. No, Pierce. Tell us. Are you over 50? You're afraid you, I haven't, you haven't shown me the proper respect. Now you make demands of me? Come on, Pierce. You have to tell us. How old are you really? 500? This has nothing to do with respect. You just want to know how old I am, don't you? <laughs> wow, Pierce. You act like a woman that doesn't want to know her age. That doesn't want people to know her age. I knew it. Come on, Felix. Can you get them off my back? <laughs> you're in you're in this too, aren't you, Felix? I've had enough of your conspiracies. I won't tell you. <laughs> I, lo I loved 
I love the banter that Felix's party has. It's so adorable. Alright, but, but before we leave Lemoya, though, there is a little spot over here that I want to check out. But yeah, the, the banter between um, Felix's party, it just feels so much more, more genuine and more, you know, like family family feel to it compared to like with Isaac's party and stuff. I mean, yeah, uh, Garrett and Ivan did have their moments and shit, but Mia was kind of annoying. And of course, Isaac didn't say anything, so I can't really put Isaac in that, but... Garrett was an idiot, and Ivan was just, like, really naive. But then again, that appealed me to Ivan's character, because I was somewhat of a naive kid, in some ways, but not all. But <laughs> In any case, but yeah, if you come over here, there's this little secret area here called Ancient Lemoria. Now, over here, uh, there is something very special here. Um, Let's see here. I don't think it's... Do I have to use it here? No, no. First things first. Um, uh, we gotta use Cyclone. Alright, let's set Cyclone to quick. Cyclone! Oh. Okay, it's not over there. Let's try this. Go! There it is! What the... What the hell? A Mercury Degen. Do you honestly think you can hide from me, brah? Please. Trimma! Come on out! There you go, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> and what Mercury DJ do we get today? Let's find out. Today's Mercury DJ is... Ream! Nice. I'm gonna ream your... Uh, 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 moving on. <laughs> In case, Ream can seal a full synergy. He is one of the best Deejans in the game. His Synergy Seal is so strong that it works on the optional Super Balls. It is beyond obscene. One of the best Deejans in the game. He equipped that to Pierce post haste. Otherwise than that though, now that we got that, it's time to get out of here. Um, I'll meet you back in the Sea of Time. Alright viewers, I'm back. We are back in the Sea of Time. Now that we got the grind synergy, we can finally take care of these rocks. So, in that case, let's set grind to quick. And pulverize that ass! Yeah, there you go. Nice and slow. Uh, uh, moving on. In any case, yeah, we're not out of here yet. Luckily, yeah, if you did not have the grind synergy, your ass would probably have to go back to that whirlwind, that whirlpool section of hell. You don't want that! At all! Alright, but, yeah. Let's get out of here, then. Alright. Alley-oop! Yay! There you go. And, oh yeah, take note, if you come over here, you can re-enter from this side. You don't have to go all the way back to, um... At least I don't think... Yeah, yeah, you see? You don't have to go all the way back to, um, at least I don't think so. Word. Well, you shouldn't have to. Hmm. Was there a path? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 now I remember. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you don't have to go back through the whirlwind maze of hell. So yeah, you can just come to this side. We're back in the eastern sea. Enter, Lem enter the sea of time from the western entrance over here or eastern depending on your perspective but yeah enter from the western entrance and then go from here you'll be able to just go right into Lemoria. you don't have to go from the south like we did the first time so thank Arceus now that we got the grind synergy viewers it is time to head to the western sea and how do we get there you're probably wondering well in order to get there we have to go back to where the um, God of Wan Cliffs, um, God of Wan Cliffs are, using the ship. So basically, sell the ship to get to where the God of Wan Cliffs are. And we have to utilize the ground uh, grind synergy. It's the only way to get to the Western Sea. But what awaits us in the in the next section of the world? Find out next time. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming videos. Hit the bells and notify whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Comment. 
Until next time, dudes and dudes, Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, bros, and brosettes, spell you later.